Um, okay, we have Wajiha from Canada. Uh, Sheikh, my question was related to black magic. So to give a bit of context, uh, someone very dear to me believes they're afflicted with black magic or jinn possession. Uh, and they happen to read Surat Al-Ikhlas and Mawi that they uh, multiple times a day and pray five times a day. Who's they using also, Who's using the the Mawadatain and Surat Al-Ikhlas? Uh, the the person who believes they're afflicted. How How is this possible? He's a sorcerer and he uses these surahs? No, no, no. I'm saying they they say that they feel that they are uh, okay. They've fallen ill to black magic. Okay. So they read these every day and they cite Rukia, like Surah Al-Fatiha on water before drinking it. Um, and they pray five times a day as well as, you know, they may listen to Quran via lecture online. Uh, so my question was, is it still possible that they're afflicted with jinn possession or black magic? And, you know, it's been over half a year since they felt that they were. Okay, I will answer you, inshallah. Now, Wajih from Canada had a similar question to Nafi'a from India, and that is, though uh, there are people who think that there is a spell on them. So they read Ruqya, and they observe their daily prayers, and they engage in adhkar, yet for the past six months, they still think that they have this spell on them. So is this possible? Can jinn still exist? Possession of jinn, though ruqya is being performed. Can black magic still be effective, though ruqya is being performed? The answer is number one. Most people who think that they have jinn or black magic spell on them, they're delusional. It is a common misconception or a quick scapegoat for people to blame any failure in life over such things. So if the wife is nagging me day and night, she's possessed. Even if she doesn't, she's possessed for marrying me. But she's possessed. If the child, if my son fails uh, uh, in school, well, this is evil eye. If my boss refuses to give me a raise, this is black magic. If my car has a flat tire, this is envy from my neighbor. So I tend to blame anything that happens, which might be my own failure to black magic, gin possession, envy, and uh, uh, evil eye. And as I said, in so many cases, this is delusional. This has no reality. So, Sheikh, do you think that there is no such thing as gin possession or ma uh, magical spells and, and sorcery? On the contrary, this is something proven in the Quran and in the authentic Sunnah. No doubt about it. Yet, I'm saying that 95, maybe 98% of cases are not legit. And if they were to be legit, if someone is really possessed by jinn or has a spell from a sorcerer, what is the remedy? There is no cure. There is no remedy but to recite the ruqya. No one on earth can relieve you from what you're having, except Allah Azza wa Jal. Okay, Sheikh, can't we go to the sorcerer and ask him to make a counter spell? A'udhu Billah, that would be kufr. Going to a sorcerer and asking him to do such things would be kufr from your side. So what to do? Suffer? The answer is, it's your choice. If you would like to choose kufr over suffering, be my guest. But no Muslim would opt for such an option knowing that it would throw him in hell or take him out of the fold of Islam. So continue to do ruqya. If you're doing it once a day, this is not sufficient. Maybe you have to do it 15 times a day and divide this on the day and night. Drink a lot of it. 
wash with ruqya water and uh, take a shower of it number of times make a lot of dua in your sujood and I guarantee you that Allah would cure you with the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal.